so and welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series uh, in this video we are going to see the reports like how to run the reports and all that the usage i waited um to make sure that there is data in here so we can actually analyze them rather than that just go and run them and with no data it obviously show us nothing or you know like skype for business no messages were sent or received because it's not working um none of the uh, users can add other users so there's nothing basically uh, in there that uh, you can actually search and all that that functionality is not there none of the messages were sent received and all that so you see it's saying zero but uh, all the other services I made sure that either some e at least some emails or some messages were sent so we can see and I downloaded or uploaded files so we have some data so let's see the first selector report we have a few reports it's related to exchange teams 365 on drive SharePoint Skype or Yammer so we can go one by one to each one right now it's saying ev everything if you see this uh, um, legend so it's showing everything here so for example if i click microsoft teams in here everything will be gone and only team activity will be shown here next one is days like how many days you want to go back i will not have anything prior to december um basic uh, this it's saying december 3rd but i should not have anything prior to 25th november that's when i signed up so so you see but obviously with more time over time you will have a lot more data here so i can click on device usage it's going to show me like uh, so over here if you can see it's saying ios or oh, android phone two messages if i go here it's saying android phone one so this is how it works and from user activity then it says 32 messages were sent uh, lowest were like eight messages one calls and all that stuff it shows even meetings as well if we scroll down it gives us a detail of who the user was when they were lost activity messages me channel messages channels if you remember Mike in Microsoft team you have your groups and then groups within groups you have channels so it's showing what are the channels messages and these are the chat messages calls who made what calls and if anybody attended a meeting or not so that's like a general overview uh, with more data it will be a lot more so you can actually find who was more active who was there the last uh who hasn't been active for a while all that <clears throat> next uh, if we see the exchange we can check the email activity let's go actually uh should have but there's no way now okay so for email activity <clears throat> there should be two one is sent and the other sent received and read so there are three graphs like what is sent yes few emails were sent if you see there is like received how many were received like maximum were received were if I click send it took it off so let's go take care of that and this one is one sent oh this is red uh, it's showing for the red sent three messages were sent the blue as well see and these are the red so do send three message emails were sent so if I click on received the maximum were received 34 email messages and the minimum was like uh, none probably one again you can turn it off and then go to read like the day that somebody received 34 messages or all of them only four were read so this is about the email usage then again it's the who are the users when they were lost active 
what was their send action, receive action, and read actions. So this guy received 84 and he only read five of them. So this is how, like 24, 52, all that, and 14 records. If you remember, we have 40 active subscriptions. So that corresponds to that one. Let's see. For email activity, email app usage. Who used the app? Yep, this is through the app. It's Outlook on the web and Outlook Windows. Like somebody accessed it from the web, from Windows. This one is Outlook Mobile. So Blue Loan is Outlook Mobile. This one is on the web. And this one is on the web. So the blue one is um, what is dark blue? Our look on Windows. Okay. Again, what did this this Aslan? I was thinking that would be Aslan because he uh, is my son, so he got set up everything um, on his uh, uh, Windows over there. Um, in his computer, he's my oldest stuff. He completely took over it, so I, I never used that one. So he, he's doing all kind of crazy things over there. So let's get to mailbox usage. Now this one is how much mails there? At least five every day. So one is total, and the active user, like how many users are active. Uh, on a certain day so on one day on 25th December five users were active and then this day so it's like total against the active user like some user may not be using so Google a uh, good under limit quota status quota is like the storage for their uh, email addresses these are the file use five users other I have not logged in yet so that's why item count like how many items they have in their what is the megabytes they have been using obviously with the after a year it could be in GB's so let's go to next one we have seen the team user activity now what is office 365 like activation how many people have activated two yep that's true only two people um, this one and this one you see Aslan H and then Aslan this is the uh, activation of Office 365, the apps that uh, Word, Excel, EDC. Next is active users. How many users are active? I think it should be five only. Uh, and you can see Office 365, two Exchange, two OneDrive, yes, two SharePoint, Yammer, three Teams. So on what uh, platform, how many users are active? So you can like turn everything off and just check uh, what's on a user uh, uh, using office 365 or you can turn everything off and see if some how many are on Yammer how many are so it just depends so all 14 are here and this one is active so this is showing Microsoft Teams who is on Yammer who is in Skype for business SharePoint all that so this is a quick way of quickly telling who is on what site. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This there's one missing. Okay. That's in, that's Office 365. But all the other things they are listed here like who are using exchange to send and receive email yep that's correct who has access to OneDrive who is using the SharePoint sites nobody's on Skype so nobody's here Yammer who sent or received messages on Yammer accessed it and who is on Teams next one is group activity these are not the groups in Teams these are the groups in uh, the active groups like we created in users tab mm, up there 
the groups we created here and you see this is the sales group this is supposed to be on premises that was transferred over sport sales IT desktop sport last activity when they were accessed or done something so charter has all the most messages this was built, automatically built uh, for us the other one some we created some were I think only one created one or two created in the cloud and office 365 rest were copied from on premises so mailbox like the activity of the mailbox of that group so you know security groups and all that they can have their mailbox uh, as well attached to them and multi geo distribution there's no data for this report and multi geo distribution i think it's like if they have in multiple location so see one drive who is active it will show you who has been accessing it viewed added saying share internally share externally so you have kind of a list emron uh, they he only viewed a or viewed a file shared internally Ali viewed a file did nothing else now Aslan viewed six files synced sync mean like they sync from their computer to or uh, uh, in the cloud 16 files and shared it only one so this is how you go about uh, for the one drive activity the other one is usage this will be how many who, which user using how much day space so Ali has one file two megabytes Bell zero but still two megabytes this should be Aslan Aslan using has 19 files using 103 megabits megabytes so if you see they have their own little link that they have the file stored in so for one drive they get this link this is kind of their site so that how the SharePoint comes into play uh, for the one drive as well now we have SharePoint activity who has been active on SharePoint only one guy this chain 25 admin admin page visited 25 yeah that could be true and then you can see viewed one edited one viewed or edited the same now site usage since we did not go and create sites page edited page from the user site so that's why there's very little data but you can see 56 files two active files and storage is 107 that is the this link the main page in iheme.sharepoint.com that's where everything happened or worked and you see some were when they were lost activity 18 14 13 11th so this is how uh, you can see which side or the like all the SharePoint sites will be listed here and you will know the owners like who are the owners and when they were active on that website next is skype for business there will be nothing here actually all blank yes so conference and all that we can uh, totally skip this yammer let's go to yammer activity these will be read posted and liked and yep all these three are active device usage who accessed Yammer from where? So everybody accessed it through the web. It was not downloaded on their phone. I think I have downloaded it on my phone, but I don't remember if I logged in or not. Let me check. So I have this on my phone, and I don't see the phone. Um, listed here so like it should be an Android phone somewhere here but it's not checked and it should be under this one this account 
so maybe it's latency issue or maybe it's not looked after at all so distribution web see nothing is here and finally we have the groups activity groups within the yammer like what's happening in there what is the group marketing only one member this has five members seven posted 43 read and one so this is how this is about the reports uh, there's a uh, usage and we can I think this will get us to the main where everything is listed uh, in tiles like 198 emails total 21 files total 70 total files a theme activity 138 messages and all that so office activation 2 this is the main tiles so this is usage analytics I have to go see everything and then I'm gonna make a video on power bi so let's go to security and compliances so exchange admin center so this will be protection I want to do these videos separately but let's uh, wrap the video here for reports we will do that in separate one security and compliance compliance I think we have talked about it uh, but so this is about the reports if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one